Jocelyn ate that music video up. I love Dream Lady Girl from Around the Way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all underneath it all, bearing it all, bare facing all. Okay, I, I can't even, girl. I can't even. Y'all, let's just hop into it because that's what we do. Before we do, though, make sure you like and subscribe because it helps me what achieve my YouTube goals, my YouTube dreams. Not even my YouTube dreams, my YouTube goals, my goals in general. Period. I'm on a mission to achieve today. I'm feeling really good. Like. I hope y'all feeling empowered too, because listen, baby, three, four weeks ago, I was going up beyond it. Y'all, let's hop into it. So Jocelyn gives us our, you know, the visuals, the visuals that we really want is from Beyonce. But, you know, Jocelyn, one thing she's going to do is give us a visual. The visuals are really nice. She looks really good. I don't remember the cadence, the beat, but she did like a little, you know, her little catchy rap, you know, situation that she's been doing lately. I love this. She looks beautiful. Jocelyn is gorgeous. And everybody be like, oh, why she keep trying to put this music down? Our throat, listen. People and things go viral, and, or not even things go viral. You, your mind can get imprinted on if you hear from repetition, symbols, and trauma. That's how things get imprinted in your mind. She's not doing anything but letting it be known that every week y'all gonna catch a visual, y'all gonna catch a song, and this is how these things stick. Stick, and then that's why she got her big one. Do it like it's your B day. How many times do we hear that? You know, I can just say it to somebody randomly, just in the store. Do it like it's your B day. They're gonna say, baby, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not mad at Jocelyn for giving us the um music videos. It's better than what her and Stevie J used to be doing with them wigs and that guitar. Um, you know, Spanish rock star. She's in her in her zone with the Spanish rapping and the this and the that. And she looks good. She had a little play on fighting the cops. She had the cops eating the donuts, girl. We love it down over here. I like that type of carrying on. And she's behind bars. You know, it was a picture of, you know, like her kind of like using a toilet. And I feel like, girl, I'm, I'm telling too much of my business. If you ever been locked up or anything like this, um, you know, like, well, I, I don't know from experience, y'all. I ain't judging. I'm just saying. Um, look at this lock. This is my favorite, one of my favorite ones. Um, you got to use the bathroom in front of people. And I think she did that like as an homage. Like, girl, I've really been there before. Um, yeah, it was cute. I love that she, you know, she'll mess with her makeup looks. Thompson has always been a type of person to me who will step outside the box when it comes to fashion. And yes, she got the big giant cakes and the boobs and this and the third. But she don't give me typical Fashion Nova brand. Like, even before she had the coin that she has now. I love it. So we're right back into the um, Yummy and what you call them fight. And Yummy didn't even like try to def uh, defend herself. She just got snuck up on, you know. And I feel like Natural could have got a could have waited to get into a better situation to kind of really box her head in. But she had to get off her little her little ones or whatever. Security got out the way the second time and just kind of let her at it. Like they just kind of let her do her thing because. She was wrong for that. And I feel like production knew that they was going to have that moment. Yummy should have knew that she was going to have that moment too. Um, I don't know why she wasn't prepared. I don't know why she didn't try to do a push up or sit up or arm curl. You know, work on something. She just did nothing. Natural to me seemed like a little drunk because this. Why wasn't you like, you You were supposed to stay sober on her ass and bink, bink, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Boom gang, like for real. I don't understand that. But she was like, I'm going to get you every day, ho. I'm going to get you every day, ho. Yummy's in the confessionals like, she's addicted to crack. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Why did she say she was addicted to attention and crack? Yo, I, I lost it. And one thing about Miss Yummy P, I just, uh, I can't wait for this Yummy P wig. Y'all going to gag when I put this wig on baby okay hopefully i can get this hair down so it can i can really kind of <laughs> be in my miss yummy p girl i might let me not let me just wait jocelyn said yummy you had it coming to you you know so let it just chill for right now she's like i'm not mad she's mad that i put a heel in her face and she was like see you still playing you still doing it you still doing it and she was like okay girl you got that off but like not a lot of people liked you for that like i think yummy got more Drop down in the comments if you're Team Yummy. I like Yummy for, like, I don't want to say personal reasons, but, like, reasons other than her hitting her, you know, doing that. I like her because her wigs be bad. She's confident. 
and um she's a key she's funny to me anyway Jocelyn says y'all can't fight in the next 72 hours or three days just give me that they agreed to it yummy was acting all scared like she didn't want to go sit next to uh the castmates or whatever she's like go over there she's not gonna beat you she, she's not gonna bite you she said i'm not i'm not gonna bite her but i'm gonna punch her in her face once these three days is over with i'm like Shh. natural is on her head natural need to do her big one and i seen one good punch that she got off but i just feel like it should have been more all yummy was doing was kicking in them little moon boots remember the moon boots I had a pair of moon boots. I thought I was shit too. What? What? Stumble with the big dogs. You had a pair of moon boots back in the day? You my kind of girl. Because I was definitely giving it up like that. She said, yummy yeah, to a good dancer. I don't remember how the girl dances, honestly. All of the antics get overshadowed by the dancing. The other way around. It's Monday. The dyslexia. All of it, girl. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. I know I said it earlier. Look at this piece of popcorn now. Why? Now why? I was gonna I was gonna go back and edit this video like now why? Because that popcorn was gonna drag me for the rest of the video. So Jocelyn starts picking the girl. She picks the one girl and she's like, now are you crying? I don't see one tear. What where is the tears at? Jocelyn is not beat for them. Y'all wanna have y'all moment, but make sure y'all come correct. Jocelyn is in the next scene is getting her makeup done. Uh, oh, she chooses the last two. She said Daisy and Wet Wet and then just kind of walked out because she just couldn't handle it. It was a couple of girls and they were crying. I mean, I can imagine that is such a huge platform to go on to. And, it's, and, and it can't be life changing if you if you play it right. So the next thing we see Jocelyn getting her makeup done and talking about her doing a smoky eye. She calls, um, I want to say, um, what you call him comes in. What's his name? Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend comes in and she's like you know what i'm not going to the house babe i'm not driving an hour away because the girls were saying in long island i'm not driving an hour away to go see those girls and i feel like they got too close to me last year and or the seasons before that like this is tired i'm not doing this i'm gonna have somebody else do it and he was like well who are you gonna do and she said she's gonna have ricardo he's like, you, you think you can trust him he was like yeah i think i can trust him she calls ricardo and said i need you to meet the girls or whatever he's all for it because he's like yeah because at the end of the day i'm not letting these girls get close to me anymore da, 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 which i think is a good thing i think they were too close to her. And I think Miss Natalie Nunn, even if my name was Natalie Nunn, you bitches so good. I'm gonna have to let that go at some point. Um, yeah, I just feel like them girls, she was like, I don't want them to think this is equal. This is not the same. It's not fair. I'm here and you're here. And I feel like, absolutely. I feel like make those boundaries very clear and let it be known that I am not the same, okay? I like it for Jocelyn. I mean, establish who you are and keep it pushing. Period. The girls are on a sprinter, this and Lucky, and it was just like, oh, Lucky just had a bad, a bad vibe about her. And she was like, well, if Lucky didn't say anything, you know, nothing would happen. She was like, no, Lucky didn't say absolutely anything. Um, they just, she didn't want her here. And she said that I think she brought her back just to kind of like embarrass her, which I don't disagree with. Jocelyn is making a show. Yeah, she's doing the, the cabaret, but she's definitely making a show. Then one of the other girls, Andrea, she gets tried because they're just like, oh, she, you flip-flopping at one minute. You said she was doing too much. You're just going with what anybody wants you to say or whatever. And she was like, well, when we get in the house, anybody can get it. And, you know, that's what the lady had said. The BBW girl kind of gets into it with Wet Wet. And Wet Wet is just like, girl, your wig looks a mess. No, your makeup looks a mess. First of all, y'all both look a mess. So sit down. And big girl, you... No, she she did eat her up when she said your titties don't move. She ate she ate her up with that. But I like wet wet. I don't know. Do y'all like wet wet? I like wet wet. She's resilient. I think I like that about her. You know, she she's still in there. She threw her bit in and what's up? You know, let's let's see what you got. Show me a little. Let me see y'all one two step. I want to see. I feel like wet wet is more of like like. <sighs> She's into, she's into, she's more into sex work and not sex appeal, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, but we'll see. I mean, on the bus, like, I don't care who likes and who disagrees. I'm not explaining it no more. It just is what it is. And I'm here to dance. I'm like, you better tell them, yummy. Cardo welcomes the girls and tells them, y'all better get ready for the next elimination because it's going down. Meet me at the trip. It's going down. Anyway, guarantee me. Oh my God, I can't wait to do the knuck and you, the knuck and you butt. Ah, that's so cute. Um, girl, I cannot. What is going on with me today? It's the coffee. Anyway, we see the house reveal. The house is beautiful. 
the house is definitely beautiful they did their big one i'm not even surprised they got a zoo and everything else like this wet wet going into the fridge she's like girl even the fridge is stocky that's the type of shit i look out for too that's lets me know wet wet really been through the systems of care before because she like hold on let me check this fridge baby let's see what it's giving andrea's in her candle and in, in her room lighting her candle hopefully i can make some good friends downstairs and girl all the girls are downstairs conspiring against her ass and they get to talking she comes downstairs and they're like you got a voodoo doll here and um natural was like i told you not to tell nobody i told you when i first saw it to put that shit away and not tell anybody and she says yeah i have a i have a voodoo doll it's more or less about a, it's for protection for me and you know i got it from the the view in new orleans a museum and this that and the third and all the girls was like whoa, whoa, whoa. like oh my god let it go like all the girls is acting all scared and this that and the third like relax so then she sits down with, I guess, who is her roommate, and she tries to explain. She's like, first of all, I'm Baptist, and I just want you to know. She's like, well, I don't want you to be serving two gods, and if you're into witchcraft, I'm not into that. First of all, let me just say this. I ain't never in my life sitting around explaining my spiritual practices to nobody, man, woman, or anybody. So she was she fucked up when she started trying to explain. And here's the thing about certain things, and voodoo is a religion. It's not witchcraft those are two different things okay and i'm not about to give y'all a spiritual spirituality lesson because that's not what y'all here you know that's not what y'all here for but i just think that it's so nuanced and i feel like a little bit is performative like people who are really into the things don't even give people a chance to make fun of it you know what i'm saying and that's what i'll just say there she thought it was going to be cute and maybe it was cute but it, it turned around and it spun the block on her ass. She got the shit working against her. She need to figure it out and fast, mama. Figure it out and fast. I hate that African, tra traditional African religions always get a bad rap. And y'all, y'all acting like y'all so scared. Ooh, boogly, boogly. But you, you, you ain't scared to go get sit on that. Sit, sit, sit on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, uh-uh, you ain't scared. You ain't scared of the, of the demon you laid up next to. How you how you want to be afraid of, you know, s traditional African religions, okay? But you ain't afraid to be with this nigga who's dragging you down to the pits of hell every Sunday. Be fucking for real. I'm getting upset, girl. Got this man out here making you look crazy. You out here looking crazy, unfamiliar to yourself. And you, you afraid of a doll. You afraid of some voodoo. You need to be afraid of that baby daddy. You need, that's who you need to be afraid of, sister. And stop playing. Anyway, the other girls are talking. And then, um, you know, the girl, she says she's the first trans in the, in the house. And she's so excited. Jocelyn gave her a chance. Yada, yada, yada. And we see Wet Wet and what you call them get into it. First, Andrea and Yummy was getting into it. And then Wet Wet inserted herself. And it looked like Yummy was ready for her in that fight. I ain't gonna lie. And if, if Yummy beats up Wet Wet, it's gonna be over with. Because Yummy, one, one thing about Yummy, she know how to pop it. Once she, when she get going, she knows how to pop it. But, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Drop down in the comments. You know how to do. You know what I'm saying? Just mine as well. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light and I will see you in the next video. Peace.